you want to activate the operation of enabling grace, your first assignment is to know the promises. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. You give the healing and grace that are always hunger for. Oh, our hearts always hunger for. Hallelujah. So for this session, we we'll look at how God speaks. How exactly does God speak? Because there are many believers who are at a loss um, as to how God speaks or how God communicates. The Bible reveals several channels that have been used by God to communicate his will and his intent that we generically call the voice of God. In fact, Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1, it says, God who in sundry times and diverse manners speak. Take note of that. Diverse manners speak. God who in sundry times and diverse manners speak in time past to the fathers by the prophets have in these last days spoken to us so you see different channels sundry times diverse manners he speak now he has spoken to us through his son so there are many channels for spiritual communication i'm not discussing them but let me just list a few of them for your knowledge number one the Bible teaches that the primary channel for God's communication as far as his intent is concerned is the Holy Scripture. Please write. So the Scripture is the principal channel. It is amazing that the Scripture that we have represents the voice of God. Are we together? And that from a child, thou hast known the Holy Scripture which is able to make you wise unto salvation it says the holy scripture number two dreams visions and supernatural encounters the bible is very clear as to the fact that god uses dreams visions and supernatural encounters to communicate his intent we see this scattered from genesis to revelation whether it is for abraham whether it is for joseph the father the earthly father of jesus hallelujah whether it is for pharaoh revealing that seven years would come with plenty and seven years would come with um, famine all of these prophetic encounters dreams visions supernatural encounters number three the prophetic now proper the prophetic i think that should be hosea chapter 12 and verse 10 i hope i'm right on that it says i have spoken to you by the prophets so god speaks by the prophets the prophetic is a channel for his communication is someone learning now I have multiplied visions, he says. Let's finish the scripture. I have used similitudes even by the ministry of the prophets. Number four, another channel for spiritual communication is called the knowing or the witness of the spirit. Fathers of faith who have joined the cloud of witnesses like Papa Hagin would talk a lot about the knowing of the spirit. The Bible says the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the sons or the children of God. There is a knowing. The spirit can bear witness with your spirit. Hallelujah. There are many other channels, but at least this one is just to be able to guide our understanding to see that when we are talking about the voice of God, I repeat again that the voice of God is not limited to the vocabulary communications of God like we know. Our concept of voice means sound that comes from the lips or the mouth of a man. But I'm telling you now that in dealing with spiritual communications, the most important thing is the transference of his will and his intent to the believer. That means at the end of whatever you call hearing God, if the will and the intent of God does not get to you, it's not God that you heard. 
it doesn't matter how spiritual it doesn't matter how flamboyant we can vet your hearing god not by the accuracy of what you think not by the charismatism that happened remember there can be sound and rain but then the voice may not be there 